I welcome you all for the digital communication lecture modules. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the channel coding theorem. So due to unavoidable presence of noise in the channel, the bits or the information what we are transmitting will cause us errors. Normally in the digital communication, the information bits are either zeros or ones. So due to the presence of noise, the error may occur with this zeros or ones. So to overcome the error in the channel, we are using a channel coding. So if you look at the block diagram of a digital communication, here the channel encoding will be present in between the source coder as well as the modulation. So after source coding has done, before the modulation has been taken place, so normally we will do channel coding, channel encoding at the transmitting end. So here this channel encoding is used to overcome the errors which are occur at the channel during the transmission. So this channel encoding will add as, as a redundancy bit and this bit will be helpful for the error direction as well as a error correction purpose. Okay. So the channel coding theorem is also called as a Shannon's second theorem and it is used for the error direction and a error correction purpose. If you look at the theorem, you know, for example, we are going to consider a source, a discrete memoryless source as well as a discrete memoryless channel. So here the discrete memoryless source is going to generate a, a message, m number of message at the rate of r. And then we have a discrete memoryless channel with the capacity of C. Okay. So if the signal generation rate R, okay, which is less than or equal to channel capacity, if the signal generation rate R, which is less than or equal to channel capacity, then the probability of error occur during the transmission will be very low in case of if the signal generation rate r is greater than c that is a channel capacity then obviously the probability of the bits getting error will be high so this theorem is called as a channel coding theorem so here the signal generation rate should be of less than or equal to channel capacity obviously the probability of error in the channel will be low then obviously the reconstruction of the signal at the receiving end is possibility of high possible. Okay. And the second one is in case of if the signal generation rate is greater than the channel capacity, obviously the probability of getting error in the channel will become high. The reconstruction of signal at the receiving end will be of a difficult one. This theorem is called as a Shannon's second theorem. It is also called as a channel coding theorem. Thank you.